As we age, often our hair turns grey, and some people try to dye their hair in order to disguise that grey. However, the hair dye doesn't always produce expected colour change in those grey hairs. So what's actually going on here? We really should start with why hair is actually coloured in the first place, which is governed by an enzyme called tyrosinase. This enzyme controls the level of melanin in the hair, which also in turn gives hair its colour. It's a mutation in the genes that produce tyrosinase that's responsible for albinism. However, tyrosinase can also be disrupted chemically as well as genetically. It's a group of chemicals known as meth, ionine, sulfoxide, reductases, or frankly, MSRs, normally present in significant amounts in the hair follicles. The active hair cells naturally produce a small amount of hydrogen peroxide, which is the same chemical used to bleach hair. The MSRs act to convert the hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. As we age, these MSRs in the hair follicles can drop, leading to a buildup of hydrogen peroxide within the hair itself. This combination low levels of MSR and high levels of hydrogen peroxide disrupt the tyrosinase in turn reducing the amount of melanin produced in the hair. The effect of this is the amount of natural hair colour produced by the human body is decreasing at the same time as the amount of hydrogen peroxide is increasing. So in effect the hair is bleached from the inside. Relatively high levels of hydrogen peroxide within the hair also then has a consequence no one trying to dye the hair. So reactions with the various hair dyes can actually alter the end result. Now these MSRs are also found in other animals. Anything from mice to fruit flies, and their production also declines with age. Now there have been experiments conducted where increases in levels of MSR in mice didn't increase the lifespan, but they did in fruit flies. A possible link between MSR and aging is that the cell damage can be caused by oxidative stress. And the action of MSR is to actually reduce reactive oxygen species in the body, reducing the cell damage and extending the cell's lifespan. It does leave the possibility that levels of MSR in mitochondria of human cells could be increased, the lifespan of the cell could then be increased. This might seem a positive outlook, but it might also give time for issues to develop within the cell, which could then affect the whole body, leading to a shortening rather than a lengthening of the lifespan of the human.